Hello. <laughs> Do up. Well, I'm not a crook. Is a music genre from like the fifties, and it made so much fucking good music, man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music that you still hear today from covers or just sound bites. I mean, hey. The other day, I was listening to one of the vinyls in my three vinyl collection of my best doo-wop songs on my fucking record player because, yeah, I'm cool, I'm rad, I'm hip, I'm cool, and rad and hip and cool. And I noticed that I knew one of those sound bites from somewhere. But where? It's a Lonely Island song. Connor for real. I love doo-wop music. It's just, they got good fucking vibes. <laughs> doo-wop, doo-wop, doo-wop. So I'll just like, I'll listen to it time to time on my record player because I'm cool, I'm rad, I'm hip. And also on my Spotify because I'm cool, I'm rad, I'm hip. <laughs> A song popped up on my Spotify because I'm cool, I'm rad, I'm hip that I was kind of like, huh? <laughs> kind of like a whole... What about? It was a song by The Crystals, who I know a few songs of theirs, one being He is a Rebel. This one <laughs> is crazy. It's a real song, too, which, you know, it's not like that those fake TikTok AI songs, okay? It's not the weird arm song. This is a real fucking song that was made back in the day by The Crystals. It's a song. It's a doo-wop song. Have you heard of doo-wop? The song is called He Hits Me, It Felt Like a Kiss. Right? I mean, he yeah, my little post of this. He hit me. Felt like a kiss. He hits me, felt like a kiss. Get ready, cause I'm about to say that a lot more times. He hits me when he's drunk. Oh, when he argues, but I love him. Oh my goodness. Cause I was searching the lyrics and these are just like the things that see this is what I'm talking about. This song is about domestic violence and they're like hee No, he 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 okay. <laughs> huh? Like I said, I know one of your other songs, he's a rebel, and that whole point of that song is just like, he's a bad boy, everyone hates him because he's a bad boy. But he's my bad boy. This is not bad boy, okay? This is criminal boy. This is lock me up boy, okay? Let me, let's get to these lyrics so you'll get what I'm talking about. But I mean, literally just from the title, he hits me, it felt like a kiss. He hits me, I gotta leave. That's what a fucker should be called. So fucking wild that this is a song that, that just, you know, came up on my Spotify. Cause I'm cool. So he hit me. It felt like a kiss. It felt like a kiss. 1962. This is music by Carol King. Carol King, what are you doing? Well, it's just the music. She she didn't really do the lyrics. Let's just verse one. He hit me and it felt like a kiss. He hit me, but it didn't hurt me. He couldn't stand to hear me say that I'd been with someone new. And when I told him, I had been untrue. Okay. So do you mean she cheated? Not that that's an excuse, okay? That doesn't mean anything. Don't cheat, don't hit. But hitting is over cheating, okay? But I mean, if he's, you know, was abused to begin with, maybe I can see why she's looking other ways. He hit me and it felt like a kiss. He hit me and I knew he loved me. He hit me and I knew he loved me. No, 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 no. Hitting and love, those two don't, those two don't hit out hit something and I did not love it. He hit me. He hit me in the fields. How about, how about, how about that? If he didn't care for me, I could have never made him mad, but he hit me and I was glad. That's sad. If he didn't care for me, he wouldn't have gotten so angry. No, no, no. No, if he cared for you, he wouldn't have hit you. How about that? How about that? That's what she makes you glad when you're like, hey man, I cheated on you and you're like, I'm mad, but I'm gonna be angry vocally, not physically. Ah. This is, of course, coming from the advice of someone who has really never been in a relationship ever, but it doesn't take that kind of experience to know you shouldn't be fucking hit. Instrumental, of course, this is probably where Carol King comes in. Instrumental music. I don't remember the, the soundscape behind because who cares about what's fucking going on behind the, the, the fucking lyrics when the lyrics are what it's like? No, God, please, no! Yes. <laughs> yes, he hit me, and it felt like a kiss. He hit me, and I knew I loved him. No. And then he took me in his arms with all the tenderness there is. And when he kissed me, he made me his. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> You know what? I kind of. I know. You know. I'm. You know. I'm already in verse three. You know. We hit the instrumental. We were pretty deep in now. Now was it? <laughs> now I'm like. I mean, like, how hard did he hit? 
Because I remember once in elementary school, I got in trouble because a kid told on me because I hit my friend. She was singing Britney Spears Hit Me Baby one more time and I was like, hee hee hee. And then she's like, ow. And then uh, another kid was like, I'm telling. And we both, me and the girl I hit, both got detention. Yeah, yeah, I hit her and um, she didn't love me because I, we got in trouble. <laughs> I didn't love a girl that fucking ratted on us, bitch. Zitches get stitches. Oh, is that the whole song? See, that's the beauty about do up songs. Songs, they're quite quick. Because <laughs> most of it's instrumental in the background. It was inspired by a real life experience by the writer and Carol King's babysitter, Little Eva? What the fuck is this? Do the locomotion. Hey, she lived in North Carolina. That's where I currently now live. Crazy. Oh, she was the babysitter for them. I think I did read that. The writer and Carol King's babysitter and what did she talk about how she used to get fucking hit <laughs> yeah it was being regularly beaten by her boyfriend oh my god oh girly girly you gotta get out of that that's sad i mean she's already dead she's long gone but that's sad because when they inquired about why she tolerated that treatment she was like because he loves me no no that's not love that's the wrong wop okay and now i'm on a different person's thing well, that's Turkey Trot. I See, that's also fun about doo music. Turkey Trot song. I still can't believe Carol King wrote this. That's so wild. <laughs> I wonder if it shows up in her musical Frankenstein twist. Come on, everybody. Do the Frankenstein thing. I gotta, I need to hear this song. I actually don't know if I did what I wanted to do here. I just kind of wanted to talk about how this wild of a song exists. That it was based on a real life story and a real life woman in a real life situation makes me even sadder. That's harsh. That's harsh. You think she got royalties for it? This is like, you know, about her sitch. Like, hey guys, I used to babysit you. You wrote a story about how I was in a, like an abusive relationship. And then you had these like other cool ass chicks sing about it. So do I get any of that cash, that locomotion, that locomula? <laughs> Come on, everybody, do the Frankenstein twist. I guess back then, though, right? Like, that was kind of like how it was. Domestic abuse was kind of more of a normal thing because women didn't have rights, especially black women. In the 60s? Oh, my goodness. Girl, I'm happy that you, you know, Got to do a music career and was not. I actually did not see how she died. Do I want to find out how she died? Come on, everybody, do a locomotion. I love how it's always like, come on, everybody. Like, they're always, like, why can't more songs be like, you know, come on, everybody, do a feminine song. Oh, what? Come on, everybody, do an espresso. Come on, everybody, do the mockery. I don't want him, couldn't stand him. I also love her fucking photo. I have cervical cancer. Oh my. I should go visit her. How far is Bell even from where I live? Good moon, everybody do the freaking chant for you. Five hours away. Jump cut. Just kidding. No, jump cut. That would be hard cut. Jump cut would be this. Don't hit people. Listen to doo op music. Most of it's good. I think because they got silly little beats and tunes and twists and they want everyone to be involved. But the people that should stay out of it are domestic abusers. It's future me editing this. Um, maybe there's a Frankenstein twist dance. I should look that up. Jump cut would be. Oh God, ouch. This. 